Hey everybody, and a welcome to the next map that I'm going to play, which is Braca Crash Site. This is made uh, by Red Sun Gamer, who of course we did some of the Jedi Purge maps before. And there are still some maps I haven't done yet from him, so we will definitely see more of those in the future. So the reason for creating this map was inspired by a Jedi Fallen Order, where of course we've seen the uh, result of this battle with so many of the Republic clones, uh, the crashed ships. And this is basically the battle that tells the story about that. It is actually cool because it made me realize that with new Star Wars properties like Fallen Order, but also uh, Rise of Skywalker, and of course the new Clone Wars uh, season, map creators or mod creators get actually new inspiration uh, to make things like this. So I think that is a wonderful thing. The lighting of the map is excellent. I really, really like it. I love all of the... Uh, Hulk ships up in the air. And I think also the story is that the clones have crash landed on this, or a lot of clones have crashed here, and the droids are now in pursuit, which is also why it's not necessarily a huge battle on both sides here, but again, we are stranded here and the, cl and the droids are in pursuit. And we know that it will not end happily for these clones. Ooh boy. It goes for your very typical um, open-ended map, but again, it does look a lot uh, more polished than... I forgot what the second uh, Jedi Purge map was, but that is sort of comparable in terms of that it's a red-colored desert. Uh, I do just really like the look of it. Some people might find it empty. Some people might actually require some uh, vehicle stuff here. I could see why... Um, but it might also be the philosophy here. I think uh, Red Sun base is all on what is actually being able to see in, um, in the Fallen Order game. And it's been a while, but I don't think there is, like, ground vehicle debris in that first level. So that might actually be one of the reasons why there's no side of that here. Just a really, really cool backdrop here. In a sense, it is kind of almost like a uh, Jakut style of, uh, of map, but then on a smaller scale. Interesting map design too here with the spawn points where you actually have um, the two opposing command posts like we have in many maps. And then the fifth one that obviously a lot of these maps have is not in the middle but all the way up north. It does actually mean that whoever holds that point has a bigger chance to keep it because the road towards it is a lot longer. Of course, if you're playing with human players, they have a very easy time of flanking it. Uh, there's a lot of open space here, so that will be a little bit more difficult. But, for example, you can actually use this hill as your advantage and make the approach on the command post without being spotted. Now, the AI won't do this, but it's still fine. Because it's, of course, so open, it's still also very playable with AI. Again, as I said, it might be a little bit simple. Red Sun has made some of the Jedi Purge maps really, really uh, cool and intricate. Good for snipers, too. Oh, come on. I think this this map is a is a good little sort of like snack in between some of the uh, the bigger maps and the more complex maps out there. I don't necessarily think it is a map that will see a lot of replayability from many people, um, 
Might also be worth checking out the other side, some of the droids, they seem to have also some pretty cool skins. There are, of course, LA, um, LAATs that can be seen in Fallen Order, which is, of course, also why the Rex are here. So I guess you could actually have LAATs in the map itself, but I don't think it will do a whole lot for it. One, it's so open that it doesn't necessarily matter that much. And two, um, the map itself is not big enough, but it also might actually uh, mess the balance up where the clones can actually drop off six units at another enemy outpost without much resistance. Maybe having some turrets or something at some of the uh, spawn points might be good. Because there is a battle going on here, but... Let's actually take a look at this guy. There is a constant battle going on though with the southern four because they're so close together. But you can see that we definitely got the upper hand here. Balance wise it's still pretty good though. We just kind of overwhelmed them with the four spawn points which is why the gap is kind of big. But not big to the point where I think it's unfair. We are about to capture this fourth, though, where they will not be able to... Oh, no. They still actually have two points. Maybe also even have, uh, because of course the, the, the beginning with um, Fallen Order, there's so much wreckage there that it might even seem like a junkyard city. Uh, maybe having that in the background or a little bit more junk might also help. But of course that's the result of this battle and not necessarily, you know, that it was already there. So this is the before and Fallen Order is the after. Anyway, guys, we're about to end this. If you want to download this map, you can check it in the description down below. Don't forget to let me know any recommendations or requests on maps or mods you want to see in the channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.